What about this deck with uh, Kuru? It's just beatdown. He's not playing any Kuru attacks. Is that standard? It's just, just a more A1. He's just going full Yata A1. With... That's a really weird deck. He's planning on doing a double a double regain them <laughs> with some kind of Yatsuha card. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how it kicks off. Mm, probably mull the Astral Claw, maybe. Maybe mull across the... I mean, what's if, is Yat is um Urina A two very flare hungry? I don't think so, right? Is determination a good bring? Not determination. Uh, Pact of Glass is that a good bring against uh Urina A two? I honestly don't know. Does anyone know? Bruh, you gotta fix your mic. It's not lag, it's your mic. It makes you it's too robotic and it's hard to understand you. Yeah. Like it's not lag, it's like mic quality. Uh Alright, Mole's fairly standard, ends up mulling away, uh... Actually, no, he keeps Astral Claw, not super sure about that. Yeah, I don't really know what this deck is, I'm not really familiar with any of the characters being played right now. So I guess we'll see what happens. Opens F1 against uh, Karunu, like it's not super grief, and then changes his mind. Very good awareness from not getting cheese. He's already lucky enough that he's going second, so he doesn't have to eat the um, absolute zero that he doesn't have. Opens A2. Yeah, I don't know why he's holding on to the Astral Claw here. Alright, changes his mind. Now he's holding on to the Determination, I assume. Yeah, he holds on to Or is that Pact of Glass? That's Pact of Glass. Alright, sure. Um, I feel both... Well, actually, now that I think about it, uh, what, Hero's not playing Beatdown, is he? He's playing a more control style deck, right? With more, um, like... The ideas on like turf on the um, perfection. Three different options to perfect here. Alright, so let's see what else is going on. Yeah, a lot of control cards. So yeah, this is, I mean, sorry, I had to, to back out for a second, but this is a more control deck from Hero, right? Yeah, looks like it. So it looks like um, Erlong's just going to have to beat him down, which I wish he would have brought more. We'll see what, what he uh, perfects, and that'll give us a big hint on what he's actually trying to do. I can see That's one of the. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. you say? Hold on. I was just gonna say I feel that the not bloom. I mean the um. You always bloom. Uh, I mean perfect harvest bloom first, right? Hmm. So you could use regain it to replay harvest bloom and reduce its charge. Shenanigans. This whole deck is shenanigans, but it actually might win out, honestly. But. Uh... Uh, whoa. Whoa. It's for my birthday. Grandma gave me a hundred dollars. Very nice. Alright, so I don't know, this is such a bizarre match. I'm definitely not really familiar with what's going on here. I don't know what the deck's wing cons are. I mean obviously I think I know it's perfect spam or whatever from ha uh Howard. From uh hero but i'm just not super familiar with the deck composition in terms of um erlong's side i don't know it's a bit of a mixed bag as well 
I mean, what are you trying to plus one, plus one here? Is it just whatever? Like, you just not care? Is it like a slash? Or is it like a particular card you're aiming to get the plus one, plus one benefit on? Um, I'm just not super sure about it. I mean, did he even... I mean, he brought Blade Dance, because why not? Actually, this is a misplay from Hero. Hero should definitely F1 for the end of this turn. Do we really just think about whether he was taking it? To... Yeah, so he perfects this because this card's like perfect is really good. And before you didn't have to use have time, but did he break the scripting by moving his extra cards? I have no idea. Normally, you can just set that in the pile and get the new card. Well, I'm sure it still works. So, did he draw into Blade Dance here? How did he not mull into Blade Dance? How is that possible? Did he just get really unlucky? Is it like the fourth card or something? It must be his next draw. Uh, you could have mulled that better, right? This is such a punish. This is actually such a punish if he had Blade Dance. He mind controlled his opponent. That's OP. He actually had the Rhyme Thorn, too. He could have, like, Blade Dance, Advance. He had all the tools to really wreck him up. Now it's not as good. I mean, yeah, you're still going to play this, but the juice is, there's not as much juice. It's just a 3 2, right? And a, what, a 3 0? You can do the 4 1. And if they take it to life, you end up uh, burning away their four last one. two cards. Why is it a 4 1? The Rhyme Thorn, right? The Rhyme Thorn is plus 1 plus 1. Yeah, so it becomes a 4 1, this one. Oh, he's playing that. Oh, that how, is that how you're supposed to use the card? Maybe. I mean, I guess. I mean, that just feels Looks really like weak. That's what he's doing. Did. That's what he's just, doing. You just take it to life, what? Take well, it to life, even... and then you lose three cards off the top of your deck, which he only has two right now. And then you lose... Well, if you take it to life, you don't take the cards. No, oh, you yeah, you, like do, you do. <laughs> Otherwise, that card would be awful. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the four aura damage isn't really viable, right? He just has to take this to life. But this is such a trick, is it not? I mean, that's so gimmicky. I mean, it works. It's just like... Oh, then you perform. I forgot the basic action, too. Like, what? A focus? Just focus, right? Or maybe not. I don't know what basic action... He's sticking on the basic action as well. Is it advance or focus? Advance, maybe? Because his opponent can't advance? Advance puts him into slash range, which is not bad. Well, yeah, and his opponent doesn't get the value. I mean, focus his opponent gets the value. I mean, I guess. Like, I don't really, like... Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a good combination, like these two cards, but for how much, like, tools you're putting into it, it doesn't seem that good. But maybe it's just enough to put enough pressure on his opponent. This is, a yeah. like, the attack ranges on this card are really good, so it's like a Why three gonna... and a half Wait, damage. Why life. did he retreat? That makes no sense that he retreats here. Yeah. Not I don't a fan know. of that. I guess because of the... And um, just that doesn't work now. <laughs> yeah, now he's too far. Is he gonna advance? I'm gonna lose my mind. It's just people try to be so cheeky with it. I mean, you just have attacks. Just move up and play the attacks. Like I know it's not the most like like sexy thing to do, but I'm telling you, it's better like most times than not. Moving forward and attacking is almost always just better. I'm not just saying that from like a playstyle perspective. Yeah. I'm just Sorry. saying that because it's just generally. Kind of reminds me of Petal Storm, actually. Petal Storm. Except that you get the decision and not your opponent. Reminds me of Sophism. <laughs> I mean, okay, problem. sure. Yeah, it's got the, the deck milling of Sophism also. Petal Storm. Why am I blanking? Oh, it's the. Okay, I remember now. Petal Storm's the 2 1 from Hanoka. Yeah, I mean, he's just blooming control. Like, why? You don't back up against control. So, like, okay, the jig is up at this point. So, Erlang, if he's seeing that he's perfecting that, it's just ridiculous. So now. He didn't even. Yeah, he has to know that it's just a control deck. So moving backwards is not the move. There's no way. Yeah, I think moving backwards is kind of restalling the inevitable when you're trying to play around Grim Edict and Astral Claw. But he canceled his own 3 1. That's the part that bothers me. <laughs> Why'd you cancel your own 3 1? You can still make that happen with uh, Blade Dance next turn. I guess, Absolutely. but now his opponent has better has a chance to have better reactions. Uh, also, showed his Upastum for free. Not that it matters, but I mean, honestly, Hero should just chill. Just wait to perfect some more cards, get some broken cards online, and just uh, 
Or there's no way we're not playing the enhancement, right? This just broken. Loses two aura, but that worth. What are the worth other to play the strongest uh, Yatsuha A card in the game. I'd play it. Okay. Yeah, he can drain double retreat. and play that really easily. Go back to R10, then that would honestly be a blast. I want to see R10 this turn. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'll move backwards. I'll move backwards too. <laughs> Now you can watch me perfect all my cards. Do it. I know you look at him, he wants to, he wants to go to R10 and play it. I'm sending him brainwaves to make him go to R10. So he'll play the card. And it will be the funniest thing ever. What do you even blow what do you even perfect next? Does he only have one more card? No, he has determination, right? He has to have at least four for not bloom to be viable. Yeah, he's blue. He's perfected two of them. Yeah, he's I'm got, actually he's like, got Phantom Strike too. He's got like all Yatsuha cards, and then just yes! through his Regina. Yes, that's what I want to see. I want to see R10. Oh yes, come on, play it, play it, and then retreat. Stall this game to its maximum length. What is the Drain Devil for here? Because why not? It's to drain his opponent's aura by one. one and I guess it technically has synergy with Not Bloom, does it not? Or not Not Bloom? Or is it Not Bloom? What's the what's the what's the special name? Something Edict or something? No, oh, I was nowhere near it. I thought it was something short. It's not. Okay, not so. Eight mirrors. Oh, okay. I was close. It is Not Bloom. But anyway, does this have synergy with Drain Devil? No. Oh. Oh. Unfortunate. Ah, oh, yes. Let's move forward. Yeah, because you don't replay this. You don't turn it face down. Oh. Maybe he thought he Drain Devil is only a resurgence. What it cares about it. It's not a skill, so it wouldn't, resur it wouldn't have any synergy with Mojul. Uh. Lame. Lame. That being said, though, I personally think that Yatsa has A is really strong. This meta. Although, like, we haven't seen her, like, played a lot. I'm really surprised that Utsura is being played more than Yatsuha. I feel like Yatsuha A got... One of, if not the strongest buff out of everybody. I mean, obviously, Utsuro's buff is really strong. A really subtle but buff, but it is very strong. Too, I yeah, because you have time to like accelerate your perfects. And it's not just one extra accelerate. You get to accelerate the accelerator. <laughs> like That's a really big deal. I think it's actually really powerful. I just, I just feel like it's not been utilized enough. I think it's just one of those things where just like certain deck archetypes are like more popular and i also think that yatsa a is just like in general like harder to play because you have to look at the game a little bit differently in a way that essentially stalls for time and you pull you get the right cards at the right time to really string together some important damage and i think because of the difficulty of how hard it is to play i haven't i feel like it hasn't had a lot of like play so far uh, where utsuro is a bit like more of it like, is it's like, almost like you just have to win by Having only the Yatsuha O uh, reflection special with no reactions. You have like a buff version of that for your normal, and that's how you win the game. Yeah, he's going to need it too because he's really going down. Um, he's down to life, and he's about to probably take at least one more damage to life this turn, if not more. Uh, what's different? R5 with two vigor. Yeah, he can drop him lower than that. You could drop him to zero aura this turn and get two life, or no, one life damage and zero aura. Uh, yeah, of course he has the, that doesn't work that way. I don't know the way it works. It works the other way. Wait, what? What, what the hell? Yeah. You did not just bloom this card or perfect this card and not know what it does. Please. What? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Yeah, it's his aura to... Wait, yeah, what? Yeah. It's, oh, it's his flare to your aura. Opponent's like, flare to your aura, your aura to yeah. your opponent's flare, opponent's aura to your flare. Why would you ever do your aura to Reflections. Your what the fuck is happening? Okay. He plays that. Uh, what do you play that in Oh, he drained to? deviled. He drained deviled. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, why? why so that, that's not in his hand then, right? This oh, did you counter the Upasum? Okay, that's a little cheeky. Oh, sorry, Drain Devil to block the Upasum. I like that. I mean, it's kind of a lose-lose situation, though, right? Because then you eat the Blade Dance either way. You either eat it because you have an Ice Token, or you eat it because you have full aura. 
I mean, it's kind of a whatever sort of thing. Yeah, you don't have to get rid of an ice token later now, I guess. And your is opponent it worth, is it worth one two more flare, though? Was it worth two flare? Takes us to Aura, yeah, he's going to at least take that one yeah, life damage. Like, oh no, he's going to take more than that, isn't he? Because he's going to buff this. Wait, what? He can't buff Could it. He have buff- yeah, you get oh. the first attack you play. Oh, well, why didn't he buff the last one, then? Good question. I don't get it. Four three and then three three one two two. What? That's so good. Saving it. Four. That's frostbite, not rhyme four. Yes, it is. Oh, it is frostbite. You're right. Yeah. Wait, oh, so he didn't bring rhyme four? I'm so he brought both. He brought both. Yes. Oh. I don't know. He changed his deck a bunch of times, but uh, then I wouldn't like rhyme four. Then, then didn't, why? I mean, see, like. He's so he's so doomed now in terms of the ice freeze game plan. <laughs> he's doomed. He's got a three life advantage, but it's all for not. I mean, I mean, because his opponent built a nothing deck. I mean, I don't know, man. See, like these are the, my personal like the most tilting games for me. When the games are so like heavily favored in one side, and people are like just don't bring decks that function. Like, what are you supposed to do with this hand if you're a hero? Like, what, just play all your cards and feel like I don't know. You have a 3 2 this turn. Like, how did you build a deck like this? Like, I get it. Like, maybe if they're all perfected and you have, like, this amazing deck. But, like, like why couldn't he just bring some Karuru attacks? Like, why even bring Karuru for this attacks. purpose? Oh, yeah, this Karuru A2, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Why are we playing Karuru? I was Karuru like, A2? wait a second. <laughs> Karuru attacks. Yeah, I'll remember them. That um, I, don't... I only lost this tournament so far. I wonder about but... that, because. I feel like Karuru A2 would be much stronger with Hanoka, obviously. Maybe he just... It is, it is, it is stronger with Hanoka. He brought Hanoka. Hanoka got banned. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, That's why so I, the, like, I, don't, I don't see what the point of it is with this. Yoink. Like, yeah. why? What is this? Well, if Hero wins, it's going to be because Erlong messes up and he gets 30 reflections and an opponent takes 10 damage. I mean, that's, that's honestly how this game's going to go. I kid you not. Uh, He's he... going to have a massive life lead. All the reflections are going to line up and then Hero's just going to die. Does he I have mean, enemy dead? Because I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, it's in his... Oh. That's Astral Maybe Claw. Alright, FF. It's over. The game's already over at this point. Is it, does he have the reflection special at least? Oh, no, he doesn't. Now this game's not winnable. Uh, I'm sorry. I hate to be uh, a bearer of bad news, but there's no way you're playing at a three life deficit with a control deck that has no swing potential. I refuse to believe. This. So you can use unless, uh, you can use Regina with this to make not bloom a zero charge and just instantly plop it. Ah, so cheese! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but I don't know if that's the intended plan here or not. Well, so yeah, but you replay it. I mean, you can. Re- well, let me think. Can you just do- how does how does regain work? You can play it from your discarded or played cards, or just played cards. Just from your remember. discard, I think. Um, here we are. No, you can't play it from played. I'm like, oh no, you can play it from your played pile too. So couldn't he Why hypothetically you just? Play it from your played pile? What? Oh, wait. among your discarded, played, piled, and devoted special cards, what? No, you can choose a card in your played pile. When you, yeah, to, and then yeah, play to it, replay right? it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was saying. I thought you were saying you could play Regana from your played pile. I'm like, no. Oh, can you not do that? No. Oh, from your discard pile. All right, this card is not as broken as I thought it was. I thought you could play this card over and over again every turn. This card's not as good as I thought. <laughs> well, I mean, this is just so cheese. I mean, as I said, if like Kira wins this, it's because his opponent messed up. But I mean, I guess we'll sit through it. I mean, he has ten life. I mean, I mean, how are we gonna get it? We're not even gonna connect to life this turn. Like, there's no way. Like, why just bring all these control cards? Like, even if you... Okay, let's just consider, like, the best case scenario and you didn't take 100 damage to, like, start the match. Like, then what? I don't know. This is really rough deck building, I think, from here. And now they don't know what the cards are doing. We're just throwing petals around. It's my favorite part of the match. It's my favorite part is the end of the match. I just throw all my petals at my opponent. <laughs> I wish you could do that IRL. I wish it was socially acceptable, but then you have to pick up the petals, and that's not as fun. It's only fun when you get to do it online and you don't have to suffer the consequences of your action. <laughs> well, he's got a 3 2 incoming. I mean, is he even going to play it? I doubt it. I mean, so that is that is that ripping life at this point? It is, right? Uh, the enhancement? Uh, no. He's only still, got, he's still perfecting? He's only got two perfected cards that I'm aware of. 
So what, he's perfecting claw. If he, I mean, if claw- he, no, if he reshuffled that turn, then it would have. But right, no, it wouldn't have. I'm not. I'm not sure what part of thirty six pickup isn't fun purple. <laughs> I mean, it's the pedals. I don't mind picking up the cards. I don't want to have to pick up the pedal. Actually, I threw around all my villainous cards at one point. I think I lost a card, so I had to order it. Very mature. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Okay, I compete in that game in a league too. Well, another yes, this is definitely why we needed both Ryan and Frostbite. I mean, I just wish he would have gone like ham with the freeze. Freeze is so broken, honestly. It's so ridiculously annoying to play against. Like Rhyme Thorn is just so like Rhyme Thorn's a generally good card, but it's a weird card, right? Where the card sucks by itself. You have to have it synergy with another thing. And once you hit R two, the card becomes so awkward. Like I know, yes, like with Yuri now, you can maybe string together some attacks, but then why not just bring a two two, right? And not have this awkward hand. Like I just had like you know have like the two two to break it and then freeze and then just work kind of work down your opponent. Like Karu, I mean, Karu. Um, Prime Thorn is definitely it's less good if your opponent's sitting at five aura, but if your opponent is anything less than that, which is going to be frequently the case when you're Karuna, you can use Rhyme Thorn to bypass their aura and let them stay at full aura and get life damage in. Yeah, but I feel like it's particularly strong with like longer ranged attacks in this particular build. Like, of course, there's shenanigans with the four one, but I mean, like it's it's so hard to look at these matches when the deck building is so heavily favored towards one person. Like, we're never going to see the results of what could have been. Like, you can't highlight the mistakes of the winning deck, right? Because they're winning so commandingly. Oh, he did bring Grim Edict, so there is hope. He has to cheese his opponent, though. That's okay, the only okay. way he wins this game. Oh, there comes the Regana. He's going to put a token on it, and it's going to instantly perfect one of his other cards. So cheesy. <laughs> There's a pedal below Hero's hand. Awesome. Hiding pedal. That's what I'm doing. I'm sneaking away pedals and putting it in my pocket in the middle of a match. I'm going to have to do that again. Oh, wait, uh, wait, Okay, it's, it's going to make it a one charge. I was mistaken. Uh, so it'll, it'll disenchant on uh, Erlang's turn. Going to have to start deleting pedals during uh, my Wudo match. Just delete a pedal here and there from his flare or... <laughs> Uh, Are you gonna be playing well, on WebZen though? I don't. I don't think so. KR players don't. It's only the Chinese players who play on WebZen. Okay. And this is the lag. Uh, that's why most players uh, play. The Chinese players play on WebZen just do the lag in the TTS. Everyone else, I think, is agreeable to play on T- uh, TTS. I have one WebZen match. It's sad. I think that's gonna be the mechanic for Insert A two. Delete pedals from the game. Wait, 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 wait. What? I'm so, I'm so confused. Wait, he perfected that goes to his hand. Oh yeah, the perfected card does go to his hand. But how did he perfect this turn? What? Is it? Huh? What's he regain? <laughs> oh, he used regain to replay the special. Oh, ho, ho, that's I thought you cheeky. couldn't do that. I, I thought, I thought you had to reshuffle to get the. The special's effect. So he regained it to replay this and this. And this is an after attack and devoted. Immediately before reshuffling your deck. I'm so confused. After attack devoted and after this attack and immediately before reshuffling your attack. You may reveal you got a hard card from your hand. Oh, so you can just regain a this. Yeah, How did you no, regain he, a two he, different thing? Because he used the doubling effect on Connect Dive. Ah, that's sick. Doesn't understand what you do, then it doesn't matter. You can That's just say sick. whatever you want. <laughs> All right, I get it. Because I, I thought you couldn't regain it. I thought it was only after you reshuffled, but then I realized that it makes sense. <laughs> I thought that special only worked after you reshuffled, but I never really thought like I didn't know you got a re- uh, reflection after you did it. So after you played the attack, That's the buff, isn't it? Oh, did he delete oh. two life there too? Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's the buff from season two. That's so broken with Regana, is it not? Uh, with Regana Connect Dive, sure. But I think transforming a card isn't that strong to spend your whole t- turn doing. You know? 
I guess. I guess the knot bloom also kind of ties it together. That was actually really good. I didn't realize it worked that way. I thought that the knot bloom special only uh, perfected after you when you were reshuffling, so I didn't think you could regain it. Cause that's the first thing I thought about. I was like, oh, you could probably just regain the special and do a bunch of shenanigans. But then I was just like, oh, I thought it's only when you reshuffle. How much life damage can um, Erlon get this turn? Uh... Hey, where, the hell we, where the hell? Oh. That's a good question. Why is it on his plate? It's in his deck. Oh. oh. What? Why is it in his deck? I thought he played it. It goes back to the top of your deck after you play it. Not bloom. Yeah, goes to the deck. Oh when yeah, you play it's it. card in the bottom oh, of your deck. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know about that either. Cheeky. I really haven't played that card enough. Apparently. Uh, I haven't played any of these Megamis. I have actually don't play any of these Megamis. I don't think I've ever played any of these Megamis once. I think I've played Karunu, and that's it. That's the only Megami I've played from these four. I didn't you, play you, never, well. you never played Urina. Never. Never Urina A2. <laughs> I'm actually surprised by that, because she doesn't, like, Urina A2 is almost more aggressive Urina, just without Tsukikage. It's more of anti-control. I think there's a little bit of a difference between anti-control versus aggressive. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, like, she's more play out all your attacks every turn. If that makes sense. I do that regardless of what Yurina that I'm playing. <laughs> I'm only playing Yurina because Kamui's kind of broke. I mean, not Kamui's like... I just, the, way, the existence of Kamui is the only reason I'm playing Yurina. Uh, I'll learn this. Uh, one day, one of my opponents will learn that I actually don't know how to play Yurina Kamui, and I just get auto-banned Kamui so I can play Yurina Tokoyo, which, is, which is pretty easy to play. So I just have to play around my opponent's shenanigans. Like my game plan's like so simple. What's the turn here? Is it freeze? You can't you can't blade dance this turn. There's no shot, right? So um This is saying that it's Hero's turn still, but uh, I'm assuming that it's actually Hero's Erling's turn? turn. I think he just forgot to pass the turn. There you go. Oh, okay. Let's say what is like, are there more new cards? I just don't know what they do. Your opponent just gets four cards. It was one of your effects. Your opponent. I think there. I think there's a lot of explanation of what just happened on your roster. Shouldn't get a connect dive, repeating the regaina to get the double knot. No, the knot bloom and then blah blah blah. Yeah, it's pretty. I'll give him credit, but it's such a. I feel like he's also winning the knowledge battle here, too. That's actually very important, especially in intermediate to low-level play. If you win the knowledge battle and your opponent just doesn't know what your deck does, it kind of puts you at a huge advantage. Honestly, I would have lost the knowledge battle in this match, too. But my characters don't really care about knowledge because they just rip your opponents to shreds because they're so brain-dead aggressive. That It's just like, all right, you're going to do that, and I'm just going to punch you in the face. And most of the time, punching your opponent in the face is a good enough counter to a lot of strategies. Anyway, I still don't know so why Drain Devil is here, but it's a vibe. Or discarding, that feels bad. Can we Yeah, because you can't play Blade Dance here. Not well. You could. Well hey, can he get a four three out of this? Break away, retreat, and then you get the you get the or you could just break away and play the Upa Stump. It doesn't really matter the ordering. You play the four three. And then you can move forward, play the brandish, right? And all the rest of your attacks? Or do you want to get the 4-1? I feel like you want the 4-3 versus the 4-1, right? At this point? That has to be more correct. I honestly think this is a... like Whenever I evaluate uh, like retreats, I think about how much life damage can I do to my opponent if I'm doing the retreat this turn. And like most of the time I'll do it for one life damage. If I can spend one of my ore to do one opponent like life damage, as long as like the swing back isn't like devastating, then I'll almost always do it for a life damage. Better if I can like, you know, something like for game for my particular pairing. Like it's always good for me to um use the like song and dance and like to go to um distance four to play the glancing strike to put it back on top. In this situation, I think the freeze in the four three is so good. Cards is in White's hand. Huh? Is that Frostbite or Prison of Ice? I don't know. Rhymethorn. Oh, Rhymethorn. Prison of Ice. Is that L99 name? <laughs> Whoops, I was thinking of L99. I mean, I don't know. Is that called Prison of Ice? I kind of like it. Although I don't know how it makes sense. I, I don't know how Rhymethorn no makes idea sense. What I was thinking of. I'm pretty sure that's a relic of, uh, like, a translation oh, thing. Wait. Yeah, no, that was. Prison of Ice. 
Yeah, that was Karunu's old enhancement, the one that made you skip your reshuffle is usually all it did. I mean, okay, so like, are we in agreement that the turn is back up, freeze, retreat, 4-3, advance, brandish, right? Wait, 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 wait. How is he getting the 4-3 in there? He's had to back up twice, right? Yeah, well, break away, Upastum, use your last vigor, so spend your vigor to break away and retreat, right? Uh, and you sneak the Upastum in there, you don't have to spend an action. You freeze your opponent, you play the 4-3, and then play the discard buff attack. That's what I was talking about earlier. I'm not sure which one's better. And then after the four three, you spend the you discard the zero three or the the three zero, and then you play the two two for two life damage. You either get two well, life damage. Four one is minimal commitment, and well, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't get the value here because he only has one card in his deck. No, you can both back up one, <laughs> and then you make both people retreat one. Right? Oh, I forgot about that secondary effect. A, a basic action. Oh. I forgot why that would... it gives you a basic action. Your basic action. Why would you not make your opponent retreat? I guess this is a 3-2. Eh. Shh, yeah. And then you two. move forward and brandish. Yeah, I forgot about the basic action in my calculation. So yeah, this is definitely much more efficient. Maybe? Yep. Yeah. Or is he that are close to the one. same? That's three. Okay. And then he takes two. Bucks. Bam. Nice. That's a lost. <laughs> Can't come back from this. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the way that Hero built his deck, but he did something cool before he died, though, which I have to give him credit for. He got to do, like, the cool thing and lose opponent's mind. Capture the hearts of the audience. So Hero's the winner in our hearts. It's yeah, he's never going to be able to get a flare reflection now, right? <laughs> he's never going to be able to get another turn. Oh my gosh, the flare drain. It's not worth, man. I'm telling you, like flare drain is only good against three to zero. And like sign A. Yeah, this card's actually he made the wrong decision and is going for a Kotsky. This card's actually really bad if you're behind, isn't it? I guess so. Oh, yeah, I guess Kamui if you're going for it. That's a loses if she's behind. Yeah, once you start losing, you can't use Mom the Abyss anymore, and it's just game over. 2-1, don't worry. Nerf this card, it's winnable. <laughs> Nerf the card. <laughs> Mike is still in the trash can before. You gotta go dig it out. <laughs> I'd love to understand what you're saying, so I can argue with it. But... <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Okay, sure. Wait, was this item a reflection? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess the aura reflection is what he's thinking about. I mean, sure. Yeah, because Ma has no reactions. Kind of makes sense to play around that. Sure, that's fine. Let's see. Yay. You can recover twice now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we discards Maw of the Abyss and you feel the sadness. I mean, we have we have to be in agreement here that replacing determination with packed and glass. Like how many do you need? You need four to get the juice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh let me think. Not Bloom, the three one, Phantom Stride. Uh, what's the fourth one that you yes. want to bring? Enhancement itself. The enhancement itself. Yeah. Got four. Oh, okay. And then the other two should have been. So we replaced determination and packed the glass with blaster and railgun, right? Yes. I don't know what the last card is. I think the the win condition here though is using that trick to uh, make uh, not bloom like the and the specialized N seven do instant two life. Repeatedly. Well, sure, but the problem with uh, a lot of tricks, especially of this sort of nature, is it gets countered really hard by your opponent punching you in the face over and over again because it requires a lot of setup. It requires you to draw certain cards, and you know that's usually it just equates to more time, and you don't have time when your opponent's punching you in the face. This deck would be really good against something like Hatsumi A, like Shinra, like sleeper matches or something. 
Like this would probably be really, really good. But against a match where you're just continually getting punched in the face, you either have to bring a lot of reactions, which is the one that he opted to. But honestly, Yatsuha reactions are not that strong. So it's like I understand the theory behind it, but it's just not true. Or what I would have done is you just bring a bunch of attacks and you punch your opponent back in the face over and over again. And Yatsuha really likes even games where she can have a blowout finish because she can line up reflections at her life. And, you know, of course, aura and flare reflections are kind of just depending on the matchup. But you can kind of blow out your opponent when you're even. So I think that would have just worked better. I mean, I understand the theory, but Yatsuha reactions just suck. It's really what this comes down to. Do you think that if... uh... Mulju is there, it could be different. Because then they're good, no. right? <laughs> I think it would be better. I don't think it could be game winning. <laughs> We're not going to pretend Erlong plays this match you know, perfectly either, but I'm just saying, like in general, I think he would have been better off with it, but not great. I think just the more consistent ways to burn life. And also, but it's also like a difficulty spike too. Like, I don't know if you ever really factor difficulty in how good things are. Because as I stated earlier, I do feel like if nothing else, like heroes comp is harder to play. And I think that actually does matter, especially in intermediate to like the lower arc of or the lower tier of high level play, where it's just like how hard something is and how error prone it is. Also, I think yeah. it's a lot harder for heroes. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, th- I have always thought that Kududu can never. No matter how good she is, she can never really be competitive because a bad reshuffle loses you the game. And, you know, on top of the room to make errors, you can also just lose because you got the worst reshuffle. (laughs) Uh, Especially with Regana being so prevalent now. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, and uh, if you're doing... That's the other thing with Big Gollum. Like, I feel like Big Gollum does enough damage to be relevant, but... If you draw your, your throwout cards at the same time and you have to discard one, you're screwed. <laughs> That's true. The only big Golem deck I saw that was pretty good was one use that Sad used, and he just spammed the Utsuro enhancement over and over again using Regana. That was his other... And the second one was... Um, what was the second one? I think it was... Uh, the... What was his second throughout? There used to be one with Dahlia uh, before they nerfed. They, they made it so that you can't use uh, the transform special without transforming. I thought it was that was so always cute. a thing. Yeah, no, that was added because of Big Golem. Because you could use it turn one and. Oh, and just have it used use for the game to get it back later. Awesome. Well, well this caused a lot of confusion in the. Like people are like, why is the card worded like this? But they weren't there for the big golem shenanigan. I don't get why it causes confusion. Why would anyone play this if it just flips back over and does nothing? Doesn't that apply to any card? <laughs> would you play Slash if it gets cancelled automatically or something? I don't know, I'd always... Yeah, if the card had the text, this card gets cancelled automatically if it's not at range 3 or 4. Ever. Why would I play what? Cyclone Blade. Oh, Cyclone Blade? Like, ever, you're saying? I'm joking. Every time I have it in my hand, I basically know, oh, I can't play this right now. They definitely have a reaction. This card is pointless. I wish I had any other attack, even a 1-1. Unless you could make use of the movement. But... Yeah. Oh, this is a feels bad man match. Got yeah. How many useless hands has he had back to back? Yeah, it's a reaction strong. Every yet's yeah, a reaction beats Cyclone Blade. I guess, but <laughs> it loses against every other card in the game, which is unfortunate. Why did Red bring Phantom Stride? No. No? I don't think so. I haven't seen it. Hey, look. There oh, it is. No. I haven't <laughs> seen it played. Has it been played? I don't think he's played it. okay. Yet. You'll draw into Phantom Stride next turn. And take Frustration. Just have to remember that the enhancement puts itself at the bottom of your deck. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that earlier, but... Or rather, is it a it may or is it a must? I think oh, it's a must. Actually, yeah. Can you hover over it? Yes, it's a must. Must. 
So delete two life, go yeah, to the bottom I mean, of the deck, and game becomes winnable again. No, not at all. That makes it significantly weaker. I was thinking you could use Regainer to reduce the charge by one to get the... Yeah, you can only life. do that Only do that once. Yeah. Then I don't know what you're doing with Regainer. You're using it to, like, make Astroclaw 2-2 two, two or something. I'm also hit a realization that even yeah. having almost all perfected cards, the character still sucks. <laughs> I'm not really sure <laughs> now how I feel Every about the cards making like your cards worse. Some of them. I mean, obviously, I like the evolution from the the four range three one, the astral or not astral claw. The, the grim edict upgrade I think is really good. I think the yeah. phantom shred upgrade is really good. I think the knob bloom upgrade is really good, and from there it gets debatable. Uh, I really think this anti synergy by making it harder to reflect. Almost none of her cards. Uh, um come anywhere near to the value of her specials. You know, e even having them twice. Well, I, I think that's, like, fair to say. You can get two good plays out of Yatsuha A1's good cards. And I think even playing them three or four times, you're not getting the value out of Yatsuha's special reaction or uh, Yatsuha's special attack. Like, you're just not. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yes, I'm glad that they buffed her the way that she did, but I do think her perfects aren't really strong enough to win games as much as I would have hoped. Oh, I, what's the best play you can do right now? Altif. Uh, hey. How many reflections can you line up? Just one reflection, I think it's or I don't think you can line up any other. Astro Edict is the best play you can do right now. Yeah, play the two one that steals flare to aura. Oh, with Regina. Yeah, that looks to be the best play you can possibly do right now. Honestly, I don't even know what Yasuha reactions do, but there's no way they're good right now. Wait, it's Kuru A two. Yeah. Uh, well, you should have brought Black. Can, uh, can regain a two cards. Can regain a two cards. <laughs> Do you even have a second card to regain a one, two, three? Four, you can five, regain three, a Drain no. Devil and Perfected Astral Claw, Celestial Talon. Can you unperfect yes. your cards to buff them again? <laughs> the one way. It's a bloom. That's lame. I mean, I don't know. What is he thinking about? Is he just thinking if he has le like lethal here? There's no way. Back to R4, you can repeat your... And you can um, do the 2-1 and the 2 -one. Well, he's got 3 damage on him next turn, so he just, if he has a way to do 3 damage this turn, he's got it, but I don't think he maybe, does. Maybe he's got the big brain lethal, we just miss it. It's, it's basically the shenanigans, right? Where Can you can you pick the same target for Regaina twice? No. No. Uh, lame. You can't yeah, drain I mean, the ball two cards, cards, not yeah, play the cards twice. Best play right now. You can do a two one two one two one. If he plays, um, maybe the thinking uh, is like trying to figure out if you discard Regina and set something up for it next turn. Maybe. I mean, I don't even know what's happening. Honestly, I don't have much to offer. Okay, so. Link, it's a recover focus. Uses. Wait, how does that work? But the Drain Devil 2 1 lets you ignore that. So, Erlang gets one less time. focus. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I only okay, see it probably doesn't attack. matter right now. I mean, it was a cheeky deck, but I just think it relies too much on particular combo pieces, which is hard to line up when you're getting your your face kicked in. I think that's the moral of the story here. You're Unless your combo your relies on your arena, then you're good. Honestly, I'm still in the same, but I don't think your arena is very good. But arena is very good against control, and sure. probably should have been the ban. What was the ban? Shinra. Uh, Shinra. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's no winning there. 
<laughs> well, I seal your card, you lose. <laughs> yeah, Shinra's pretty devastating with uh, Korunu, as well as devastating with um, Anora. Wait, well, no, Shinra is just uh, devastating if you're playing Kudu, because it just means <laughs> you don't get to play. <laughs> Oh yeah, because Regina gets sealed. Well, not not yeah, because Regina gets sealed or Not Bloom gets sealed. Not Bloom's even nastier. Can't perfect your deck anymore. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I I really think that the biggest like the like the biggest like, the sin here is the deck building. I mean, there's no way that a Railgun Blaster would have paid off in dividends for him here. Versus whatever the two shit like, cards on the right are. Railgun would have been <laughs> difficult. There's no way to reliably get uh, the damage buffs on, on them, though. He not has the damage buffs right now. Not the throughout part of it. I don't even not know. Not throughout it's and not the uh, other Megami, right? Or you Rail, you don't have... need it to be other for a Railgun, but you do would need two attacks still. Oh, Which, okay. It's easy to get the two attacks with the... Uh, not Bloom of the Eight Mirrors going. Cause... I, mean, I mean, Blaster. Blaster. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blaster requires the other Megami. And, yeah, if you have the... If you lost your uh, Not Bloom Harvest, then it would be difficult. Oh, do you need an enhancement for Blaster? For one of the yeah. mechanisms on it, you need enhancement. For one of them, you need, I think, skill reaction. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess Connect Dive's not an enhancement. Can you swap it has it? to be from another Megami too. It can't be a Kuru one oh. or Blaster. That's so rough. Then this pair just sucks, does it not? Because Kuru, like the big shenanigans, right? With with Kuru, um, is that you want to have enhancements that you can just kind of sit out there that achieve what you need, and like Yatsuha can't really do that. Except not <laughs> and and that discards why. the cancel. This does not go to... Wait, it goes to... Huh? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Yeet. Yeah, one for the reshuffle. <laughs> He's like, what? Is that card really that bullshit? That's what I would do. I'd look at that card, too, every time. <laughs> I cannot believe it's even life. Like, obviously, Erlog has a commanding like lead here, because like, obviously he knows the way the game works, but... <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Three resolves. Mm, yeah, that brand is going to be pretty brutal. A free or three brandish. Oh, he's resolved. Yeah, I forgot about that. Jesus, three, two, four, three. Yeah, four, three. That's pretty good. You want to buff the brandish or four, the two, slash? three, two? Probably the slash, <laughs> right? I don't know. Probably the slash. Yeah, I agree because he screwed it the way which way he takes the slash because he can punish with the brandish. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. I think the slash is. Uh, you're still a robot, but what's up? Something about hero. You want to see his reaction? Yes, one reaction. It's winnable. If he survives next turn, does he win? No, right. Oh. Uh. He has to survive two more turns, I think, to get the life deleting. Yeah, that's what he needs. That's the only way he wins at this point. Like, but it's he just, might be able to get so something with Ma. Well, he's got know. two reflections right now, too. To be fair, but there's no way that he's not uh, that hero's not taking life damage this turn. That would be illegal. That'd be illegal. Because you play the slash out with a four two, and then that's just, that's just yeah. And you get a two one if he takes anything to aura, right? This is when you space it correctly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That card's annoying. I don't like that card. <laughs> you know what the last card is? At least. You know what? Do we know what the last draw is? Uh, his uh, Phantom Stride. Phantom Stride. And Phantom Stride and, and not Blue Harvest coming back. It's actually a good card to have, but he's not. If like, if Erlong disconnected right now, I think he could probably win. What specials does Erlong have? He has Kamakura, I believe, and Uranami. Yeah. Why would you bring Uranami? What do you bring Uranami? Kamakura. I don't even remember what Kamakura is. What is that? That's, That's the throughout one, yeah. Ah, oh, that special is so garbage, too. All right. I don't know. I mean, it's not a tempo special. Life isn't bad, and. 
Hand yeah, but it's not Super Kage bad. Crush. Not even Final Blow. I've killed a lot more people with Final Blow than you think. Even tournament matches as well. <laughs> I mean, if you Final Blow is a great card. I think that it is underrated. Objectively. I am on the same boat. I think uh, Final Blow is underrated. I think it's also particularly good against most reactions as well. Final Blow is underrated. Starts turn with at three life against an opponent with five or final blow is garbage. <laughs> well, I mean, it's very reaction heavy, but what is what's going to get more value here, right? <laughs> you have to admit, final blow is more achievable than whatever that shit X special does. <laughs> well, the, re- the real problem with final blow is it's like Sine's final stage. Your opponent has to assume that you have it, and actually taking it loses its value. <laughs> sure. Yeah, as long sure. as your opponent doesn't. Disrespect it. Or two. Take or two. Do you lose score aura or do you lose the game? Have to take it to life, right? Yeah, if you take it to aura, you still take one life damage here anyway. Okay, not strictly true, because you can use the reaction against the 2-1, but that's still tr- <laughs> really bad. Oh my gosh. Is this match... So it takes 4-2. I mean, what? I mean, you can't... Reaction doesn't do anything, right? I mean, there's no way. The reaction is one extra aura. That's all it is. Winnable. So then you take it to aura, then, right? No, because it's brandish a 3-2. Yep. Nope. Womp, womp, womp. Brandish like, is a 3-2, and you get to 2-1. The timing's all out of whack, too. I think that's the key against Sharina. Is the attack timing? This is not the timing you want. It's like the worst timing. I think you take it to life, and then you end up taking the brandish from the two one to aura, and then and then you get one more turn, alive. and then you die. Yeah, but you're alive. <laughs> oh, is he just gonna die? Will he die? No, you can't die because you can block the two one. So both outcomes are the same. But which way lines them up more reflections? Probably taking this to aura will line up more reflections, right? Because then you can play the reaction to the uh, to the. Um, I don't know how he's gonna have any reflections. <laughs> he needs at least one, or he's just doomed. I think he's doomed anyway. But I think that I don't know. Are you gonna eat crow when he wins? He what? Oh, it, it's a phrase. Are, are you going to be sad when he wins? I don't really even care. I think both players played egregiously enough that it was an even match. So I'm not too upset about <laughs> the, it. The smack talk. <laughs> the smack sucks. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever heard Purple commentate a game and not say this deck sucks. I've, I like Master, Master the Japanese players. <laughs> I don't have anything a lot of negative to say against I, top Japanese. You haven't, you haven't commentated on them. I have. I just haven't been here. I've commentated a lot no, of matches. On YouTube, YouTube. On YouTube. Oh, on YouTube? Right. Yeah, no. I usually just do the community stuff. And when watching, like, you know, like the finals for tournaments, I think they're pretty good matches. Yeah, they usually just... just... Four. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, not that. I'm talking about, like, real tournaments. Not whatever the, that, like, 10-minute tournament was where people just like played random shit. Like, I don't know what that was. That was like an origin Purple tournament. Didn't... Like, who cares about origin tournament? Purple didn't commentate my tournament where I lost four games straight. That was, that was probably before I joined the server. No, no, no. Uh, it was like a couple weeks ago. Where was it? The new, there was a new Japanese server that opened up for uh, official online tournaments run I by Baka Fucker. I think I'm there now. I think I joined that tournament watch league to watch M4 get really lucky in his match. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You watched M4, but not me. I see how it is. Okay, okay. That's true. But yeah, I'm it's on that server. I... No. Is it? I was he playing at 3 a.m. And uh, I almost won the first match. It was super close. And I lost by like one life. And after that, I was just defeated. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how close the one life was. It, it, it was a really like close game, and if I was if it wasn't three a.m. and I had not been working all day, that followed by a, like you know four hours of flying in a plane, I probably would have done better. Uh, that's what they all say. 
All right. How many reflections can we get? Negative five. All right. The game's over. It's a yeah. good game. M4 has yeah, some corrections see. on the term and information, but. <laughs> or did he type it? Yeah. Let's see. What does he have to say? Even M4 admitted that he got lucky that match. We're not denying that. Uh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I watched a different match. I watched one match. I watched M4 get really lucky, and apparently the tournament was over. And I was like, oh, that sucks. Yep, this is not lethal in any figment of the imagination. This is definitely a I'm done match. There is zero way that you will ever oh, have lethal. Phantom Stride backwards. Okay. They take it to life. It's not buffed. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, uh, buffed. it's the bigger yeah. one. Okay, you have no way of winning. <laughs> I don't know why he buffed that last. Why would he buff the reactions first with five phantom stride? That's so egregious to me. You delete they... all of the shadow from the board, and then you play not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you still lose, though, right? I mean, Probably. you guarantee... Yeah, because the frustration damage is too much. There's no way. And even if he... De... Uh, wait, what? Oh, is this what he was thinking about? Are you serious? Okay. Wait, why did he just... We just retroactively... What? Focus. Focus it up. Yeah, but that was such a retroactive thing. Their Lang's really worried Surprised about you let losing him this it. one. Yeah, but that was so retroactive. Okay, Fix and then you... And then you Fix discard the rest of your hand my, to recover. My break away for a retreat. Like, what you go fuck? recover four here now? And then say, like, don't hurt me. <laughs> Please, frustration damage, be gentle. Winnable. He's trying to think if he wants to hold the reaction for, like, tricks. Is there tricks here? There's no tricks. There's no way he's just dead. I mean, even with the knob bloom goes off, he still dies. Like, there's just no way. If he would have reflected. Okay. And then he backs up and he plays Glancing Strike. Immortal Flower. Okay. Got a... No, I, it's attack. like he might as well, I guess, because he gets that. No, he doesn't get it. Too. Oh boy, here it comes. 2 1. Oh, Makes he sense. plays that as, as no reactions. So, honestly, he's probably better off just discarding that for <laughs> recovery. Nope. He takes it to life and he dies to not bloom. Because he, he plays Reap and he reaps it and then dies. Wait, no, we just think it's just a chance. Ball of the Abyss and they take it to life for some reason. Then they reshuffle and pass and reshuffle again. Winnable. <laughs> and uh, then you steal their aura. I mean, their flare to your aura. I think he might as well just play that reaction straight. Now we're going to undo everything. Why don't we just retreat a bunch of... No, you can't. I don't have any aura. Never mind. See, this is why you bring... Um... Nope, never okay, mind. Okay, okay, I see. He spent... He's spending a card. What? Yeah, because of that. Who cares? <laughs> You're still here. Just... You must care. Uh... Immediately. Right. Purple has if left. you wait That's four or five... The opponent might DC and still four to five win, right? Is that not four to five? Oh no, Phantom Stride, Phantom Stride. Oh okay, he increased the distance two one. You almost, Makes you life. almost got me to say something stupid again. <laughs> I got Phantom. Stride. Why are we are we reading? Are we both learning about the card? Like what? See, I don't care if people play like what? Wait, he, what? They actually took it to life. What? Hey, I'm so good. What? 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 I bet you. Like, what you? Here's my two one model of the abyss. What do you think he's gonna play Sugakage Crush from his hand? Like without 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 Yurina even being in play? Like what the fuck? You should play Sugakage Crush from his hand. That'd be really funny. That's what I would. Maybe do he just wants the flare for Kamakura that then because uh. Play. Let's see, so if he takes that to life, he has three flare, he can reshuffle and do a four flare Kamakura for lethal, right? Sure. You just died to reshuffle damage either way. Why do you take it to life? Jesus Christ. 
It's fine. Play super. Spend two and gain super cocky crush from hand. I mean, that's wouldn't even kill now because totally did we cool. win yet? No. You have now to he's play gonna that. Thirty minutes to decide whether or not he's going to discard this card or play it. He has to play that from hand. Because Kamakura has no reactions. It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. There's nothing he can do. It doesn't matter. That's true. Yoink. Wow. I just want to see... I want to see the disrespectful insta-passes. That's what my opponents do to me. Insta-pass. Do it. No balls. You're not thinking about reshuffling, are you? The insta pass just insta passes back to you and you lose. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, Establish dominance. The opponent has you decide you no lose. specials face down, no cards in hand, and you have a confirmed no lethal from what you know, but. Because he just focuses twice and plays Kamakura with the cards. You can't focus right? and play Kamakura. <laughs> oh, just, the card sucks. Play <laughs> Kamakura right now. Yeah, that'll do it for frustration damage. Yeah, because it's a 2-4, two, 2-2. Two, 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 right? two. And then he does the frustration damage. But yeah. first, we need to Please spend draw a card. five minutes <laughs> thinking about reshuffle. Draw the cards. Do it. I want to see this. Because then, like, and if, like, Hero wins and I'm, like, the worst commentator ever and he played perfectly and I was just wrong the entire time, I'm going to be really sad about it. So. We were just wrong the entire time. So, yeah, if Hero wins, his deck was perfect, and there was nothing he could have done better this game. Yep. Not the fact that Erlon can't count to two. It's the fact that... <laughs> it was an interesting experiment. <laughs> hey, he can win! No way to deal. Will Erlon miss lethal? Damage. They're not going over post-game, are they? That'd be really tilting. Dude, at Erlon. least drop a GG. It's not a purple match. <laughs> <laughs> no way of dealing. Oh, uh, uh, we drawing cards. We drawn. <gasps> we playing cards. We're not playing. We have three. There two. it is. There's the two oh. two. Oh. Wait, I just win. Oh. Uh. So sad. I wanted him to play cards from his hand. It was so close. He almost played the three zero. I would have just. Well, actually, with the three zero lethal, is this lethal? Let's assume he forgot about Comic Curry. Could he win from this hand? No. Yeah, how uh, Uro's like, oh, I should have uh, not brought this shit. Back. All right, anyway, I gotta go.